Good morning. Welcome to the Monday Morning Cup of Coffee. Yet another Monday together. Two years this month we've been doing the Monday Morning Cup of Coffee. I'm Tommy Womack, your host. Coming to you from Athens, Georgia, drinking, I apologize, out of a not very earth-friendly styrofoam cup, courtesy of the microbe tail. Let's have a sip together. Ah. I could use your help. The next two weekends, uh, some gigs fell through, and uh, I need to play. Baby needs new booties, you know? So if you know of anything in your area that I could pick up on the fly, uh, give me a shout, either Tommy at TommyWomack.com or TommyWomack at BellSouth.net, B-E-L-L South.net. Uh, or hit me up on Facebook. Uh, I would appreciate the good word. I, I would like to get out and work these next couple of weekends, and I will entertain any and all ideas. Thank you very much. Had a good weekend. Played in Atlanta Friday night at the Red Light Cafe, and here in Athens uh, Saturday night at the Flicker. And thank you to Adam Klein, a great songwriter, great guy. He brought me and David Olney in to do these gigs, and it was a real pleasure. And David uh, Jacob Strain opened for us uh, Friday night with some great bottleneck playing and singing, and his friend Bob Beach on harmonica. It was really good. David's going out to Los Angeles to record a record uh, this week. Wish him the best of luck. Uh, he's got some heavy hitters playing on the record, including Jim Keltner on drums. So, so I hope that goes well for him. Uh, you know what's sticking in my craw at the moment? First of all, first of all, I got to say, I'm looking at myself in the camera here, and I'm hot. Damn, I'm hot. It's, you know, the musk pouring off of me is like steam off the back of a zebra on the Savannah Plain after a rainstorm. I don't know how you can sit and watch me without your loins quivering. It's a blessing. It's a curse. What can I say? Okay, having said that, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, has come to my two home states to devote a debate on the primacy of the theory of evolution versus creationism. I'm so proud. My home state of Kentucky, my adopted home state of Tennessee, this is where Bill Nye has to come in order to try to talk sense into people. I am a professed Christian. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm a bit left of center. I uh, sin regularly, but uh, those are my beliefs. And the creation story in Genesis is a parable. It even says, Adam means man. It's, it's representation, it's metaphors, it's uh, similes, it's, uh, it's, it, it's not meant to say that the world was created in seven days. We have a little bit of insight in that now. Home sweet home, my home states, the American South, where I grew up so deep in the Bible Belt, I didn't even know there was one when I was growing up. I thought everybody thought like this. I remember being eight years old and thinking that the dinosaur bones were planted by God to test our faith. I really believed that. That was a common belief when I grew up. I had a Sunday school class, uh... Me and Pam Brinkley uh, were taught by this one nice old lady uh, in a wheelchair, and she would always use the previous night's episode of All in the Family as uh, illustrators of moral tales, and she would recount the episode with us, taking Archie's side. I swear to God, I can't make that up. Every Sunday morning, that was Sunday school. And yet I still have faith, I still believe, and Bill Nye still has to come to my two home states to debate the theory of evolution. Anyway, anyway, I hope you have a great Monday. God bless you. Don't let the bastards get you down. Have another sip. Go out there. 
take the day on, carpe the diem, shoulder to the wheel, nose to the grindstone, T to the W, representing Nash to the Ville. God bless you. Ah.